So I just wanted to take a couple minutes to walk you through the menus on the Fluke II910 Acoustic Imager. You'll see on the front of the unit, uh, there's really only two buttons. There's a power button and there is our capture button. This is going to capture images or video, depending on what mode you're in. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see your frequency range, which is displayed here from two all the way up to 52 kilohertz because we are in the, uh, the regular mode right now. If we were in PDQ mode, this range would be expanded all the way up to 100 kilohertz. You'll also see right next to the frequency range is our manual slider. And what this allows me to do is this allows me to adjust the level and the span of the frequency that we're measuring uh, just by sliding the scale up and down. Really, really easy to use. If I'm in a noisy industrial environment and there's a lot of noise happening down here in the lower frequency, I can just raise the frequency range up, eliminate everything down here, especially helpful in, as I said, noisy industrial environments. To access the menus, just touch the screen once and we're gonna quickly go through each one of these options. So the first mode is our capture mode. The i900 and the i910 have different capture modes. Uh, they both have image mode and video mode. So this is gonna capture just a standard JPEG image and video mode is going to capture uh, a video if you wanted to capture an event happening over a period of time. But what's unique to the i900 is the leak queue mode, which allows you to actually quantify what the leak is costing you. And then when you jump to the i910, it has the additional functionality of this PDQ mode or partial discharge quantification. We get back into the main menu here. The second one down is memory. This allows me to go back into my history and look at images of things that I've, things that I've done in the past, machines, uh, all different kinds of stuff. It's all stored here in the internal memory. Um, the other thing you can do is you can create customized folders for your memory, um, in which case I can go in here and I can create new folders if I want to name it for a specific facility or a specific building or even go down and, uh, and look at a specific asset, I can create unique folders uh, for each one of those, which is really, really helpful for sorting our, sorting our data. Next, we're going to look at acoustics. And these are just options for things that will be, will be shown on the screen. Um, first, you see the decibel scale. You can turn that on or off. As you can see, I've just shut the decibel scale off. This is really just going to give you uh, your high and your low range on the decibels, and as well as showing the max and the min. So if I turn those off, they've now disappeared. We can adjust uh, using the plus or the minus sign, you can adjust the max and the min decibel uh, to the manual, but I usually keep them in auto mode. Next is profiles. You can actually create specific profiles for specific environments. So what you can do is you can come in here and you can add a profile. So if there is a known frequency range that you wanna measure in, you can enter into that profile. Rather than having to use the, the manual scale, it'll automatically enter into that. Let me get back out here, turn off profiles. The, the next thing I want to talk about briefly is the, the high frequency mode. So when you are in PDQ mode, which we're in, you go into acoustics, hit high frequency. You'll now see that this scale has now adjusted to, to show the maximum range going all the way up to 100 kilohertz. So that's something that we can turn on and off as needed. So the next thing I want to talk about is the, the palette. This is pretty straightforward. We, have, we offer three different color palettes. We have a gray scale, an iron bow, and a red-blue palette. This is really just personal preference, uh, depending on what you want to use for a color palette to identify the, 
um, different colors that you're assigning the decibel ranges to. Markers, pretty straightforward. You, this, um, I'll go back into the regular video mode here. So you'll see in the center here, there is a decibel center point marker. I can either turn that marker on or I can turn it off. So you can see if I put the crosshairs right on the source of the leak, that's going to give me a, a decibel reading right on that, right on those crosshairs. So turn that back off, close that. Finally, settings, pretty, pretty straightforward. This is where you're going to do your camera settings, things like uh, your file format. Um, image format can be captured as either a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, if I need to adjust the date and time, if I want to uh, add my own company logo, I can do that here. Um, right now, it's just the default is to set it to Fluke. Um, local, uh, localization, obviously your language. Um, if I need to, for some reason, clear the data or reset to a factory, uh, I can do that here. And then your imager info, model number, serial number, this is where you're going to find all that stuff. Uh, if you need to do a, a microphone test, you can do that here as well. But everything is really, really easy to use. The user interface is, is super intuitive, um, doesn't require a lot of training. And that's the, uh, that's the walkthrough of the menu for the i910. Thanks for watching.